check out this hog. See the rim right there? Boom, there it is. <laughs> what did you find? Oh, yeah. You did it, Jerry Bob. guys we are in Ohio we got spicy Mike with us today hi Michael uh, we got two home sites here yeah, we're on one right now and one or two humps over there's another one that one's a little older but uh, so we're gonna see what we can do all right guys later when I gave the intro I didn't give you the years we're in Ohio, and that top one where we were is just kind of quiet. He dissed it. It's changed. It's different. No targets. But that one was on the 1874 and my 1904, but it was gone by the 55 area. Now this one, and we're on it. It wasn't very far down. It was on the 1874 and gone by 1904, which is a little better. When I was up there, I dug a part of a uh, the top of a uh crotal bell i had a mid-tone here i had to open it all back up i was thinking maybe suspend a clip at first but i'm not 100 percent sure and i think that's p e or f and then there's s s something i'm gonna clean it up i'll come right back yeah i got close to making it out but i couldn't Maybe it was a tag of some sort, or advertisement. B E E, and then E S S. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll figure it out later. Burr. I don't know. Don't even know what it was. I think that's a nail hole up there. Yeah. Cool. Spicy Mike just dug a. What'd you dig today? A sword plate? A belt buckle? What? What is that? An officer's sword plate. An officer? Civil War officer's sword, sword plate. I've never dug one like that. And so I'm getting this screaming obnoxious tone down here. I almost stopped and said, what do those things sound like? Because I've never dug one. Are they largey numbers? Are they screaming Indian numbers? You know. But I didn't, so I went ahead and dug what I had. Check out this hog. <laughs> uh, W-E-5? W-E-B? W-E-B has a horse on it. Well, maybe it has a horse on the other side. Yep. Mikey knows his stuff. There's the horse. Wow. Why? What's the equinox get deeper in this or what? Oh, really? Yeah, that's cool. It's 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 dinged up, but good lord, it's complete. Yeah. W E B with the horse. That's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Boom. What did you say? A, a nice pretty green Indian. 1884. Come on. There it is. I'll be done. Good job, Michael. That's why we're here. I have a whole town sold now. <laughs> you know, I always target the top of the crown. He always targets the back of them. And he does good. Let me see. What you got there, Michael? 65 in. Oh, still. Oh, 
Oh yes, she also is. Also got a pocket watch pocket frame. Pocket watch frame, nice. Good job, man. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Mike just pointed out what I found. I've dug probably five or six uh, bullet casings, tiny like this. And this one, and some bigger, and this one had this great big thing on it. I said, Mike, you got to see this bullet. And guess what he said it was? A pencil. He said he used to dig them down in Ohio uh, at school sites. He said this was slate, slate rock, and it would leave a mark like lead. I'll be darned. That's cool. Bunch of saddle rivets were up here. Crotal Bell was over there, not very far from here. And I just dug another one. I think the horses must have came through here. We got another bell. <laughs> Complete. Nice. This one will jingle. There ain't nothing wrong with it at all. No. That is awesome. Yeah, I definitely say the horses pulled up in front of this house. Come on. Well, you're not being very nice to me, are you? There we go. That's cool. Trying to find the pedals. Oh, there they are. Yep. Bunch of shell casings today and finally dug a bullet to go with it. Look how white that is. That's period. Late 1800s, early 1900s anyway. I've been finding a lot of, they look to be about the size of a 32 caliber shell casings and that looks to be about the size of a 32 caliber bullet. Cool. I'll tell you if it's a weedy or if it's an Indian. Is it? Oh yeah, there's old Abe. Cool. Not gonna get a year. Hey, it'll work. Okay, we're done. But we didn't do too bad. Thank goodness Mikey and his experience came up and saved the day for the coins. He got a cool little button, old trouser button, that uh, pocket watch, what'd you call it? Housing. Housing, yeah. Huh, that cool. one doesn't have a little top like the other one. No, and, <laughs> and it doesn't whine, so this one took a key, didn't it? That's cool, that's cool. He dug a more modern plastic, I guess, button. Okay, I picked up some crock and some pottery. And his Indians are 1865 and 1884. Very good. Okay, I dug a lot of the stuff. I don't know what it is. You can just try to help me imagine what they are. I think that was nailed into something, maybe advertisement. I don't know. And I don't know what this is either. I think it's lead though. It's kind of heavy. Kind of neat. I was hoping this was a saw medallion, but it's not. So it sounded good though. Another little button. I think it was a toothpiece and it's just the front of it. Let's, I would have dug three Crotal Bells today if that would have been complete. But check it out. That's pretty cool. He knew. He said, look on top. See if there's a horse. There it is. That looks hand carving. Did they, did they put no? Okay. Don't look very put a mold. professional. That web looks good. And there's a smaller one. I don't see, didn't see a number on that one. So that's, that's cool. There's those shell casings I kept talking about. I think there's a couple more in my pouch. That might have been the bullet to one of them. I'm not sure. I dug a couple uh, rivets. There's that slate pencil. Late 1800s. Cool. I've never dug one of them before. I think that's pewter. Part of a utensil handle. Infamous green washer. Cyclops. I dug a uh, suspender button. Pieces of an oil lamp. There's all my mid-tones. Just 
bits and pieces. I think there's a couple of fire ground balls there and some other pieces of lead. Old paper uh, shotgun shell. But not bad. It was fun. Thanks for coming up, Mike. Thanks Appreciate for it. Me. All right, guys. Later. Okay, I'll let you guys in on what I'm doing. I am back by myself. It's 9.30 at night to the field where Brandon dug the uh, drape bust large scent. JD got a couple. It's kind of raining. And unfortunately, he just freshly ch chisel plowed this thing, which kind of surprised me. I didn't think anybody chisel plowed anymore. Got good iron. I'm back on the site. I got pottery. I think I'm going to find more, so I'm going to go ahead and br break in and let you guys know I did, dig a, I did dig a flat button, so hopefully this is just the uh, beginning. Uh, that day was the only day we hit it. We did so good. I wanted to get back to it. It just dawned on me to go do it tonight, so that's what I'm doing. And I got some deer that just really want to come in the field <laughs> bad, but they don't know what to think about me. This right, was a later. nickel tone. I knew it was shell, so I used my pin pointer like I did before. I think that is pewter. Yep, pewter utensil. This was a very old site. And it was big and spread out. The ground zero was all over the place. And I found something else that's weird. I thought it was an aluminum, piece of an aluminum can. And it was in my hand for a good three minutes before I realized what the heck it was. Look at all the silver wash on it. That's a spoon bowl. See right there? <laughs> Looks like it was out in the concrete road and got ran over a million times. But that's what that is. Now, with all the largies that came off this property, I was bummed I didn't get one. Maybe that's why I'm back. That's one direction. That's the other direction. Why you be a largey scare? <laughs> Oh, I see it. Yes, it is. <laughs> awesome. See the rim right there? Boom, there it is. <laughs> oh, good. I got one. Let me clean it up a little bit. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> it's been sprinkling anyway. It rained all day. Looks like it's an old matron. Let me put you guys down so I can get after it good. Okay. It's a matron, but it's the late face. I don't think it's a braided. But I can't get a year off it to prove it so anywho I'm a happy camper so that's what JD got two I think Brandon got two and one of them was a drape bus so four or five uh, off this site so far it's got to be a ton of Indians though it was uh, on the 57 and 72 uh, I'm sure we dug a toe tap or two that day we were here but there's another one cool I thought that was pretty neat focus yeah check that out that's cool I 
and I would definitely say that is a fired musket ball. I don't see the gate, but right to, it looks like the gate side is what took the hit. This is probably the back where it's round. Still just perfectly round. Cool. Well, I had an itch and I needed to scratch it. Unfortunately, it was nasty chisel plow. <laughs> but, and it was deep. He just did it the other day. So it was tough, tough walking. But, me and Spicer went out uh, two nights ago. And I got just a little bit of footage. Found some cool stuff. And so I'll probably just add this to that one. But tonight, on a re-hit, I got a toe tap and a half. I think this is part of a toe tap too. The holes are on this part. I got a neat little button. That's cool. Flat button, a pewter utensil handle, and a copper dimpled like crazy spoon bowl. Picked up a piece of blue pottery. There's a bunch up there. I got a uh, fired round ball for sure. Two shotgun head stamps. These are all lead. I don't think it's any bullets. I think it was just his droppings. Why, why, why there's lead in this shape, I'm not sure, but it's definitely lead. And a hinge, possibly to a folding ruler, one side. Not 100% sure, but that's what it looks like. And my late 1830s, mid to late 1830s, matron head Largy. She's got the newer face for the matrons before she went braided. That's what I think anyway. But happy to see her back is toasted. I rubbed on it. And I don't think I'm going to get any better. That's okay. She's a Largy. All right, guys. Later. Okay, we found it. Now, listen to the story. I'm looking on my old maps. Check it out. This great big hill. We got Brandon. We got Jerry Bob. I'm looking at my old maps today at work at break time, trying to find some new ground. And I found spots that I had already pinned on my map, but I seen the name. And I text Brandon. I said, do you have these people? He goes, yeah. I said, have you, have you hit these two? He said, no. <laughs> I said, did you know about them? He said, no. So look at, we are, uh, we are only 30, 40 yards from a house. And look at, we got, I tell you people, trust those maps. Absolutely. It was definitely. Right oh, do you? Yeah. So trust the maps, okay? You do a layout or an overlay and you got a house that's close, you still got to go look because if you do your over overlay right, there's going to be a house there. So trust your maps. All right, guys. We'll see what we can find. That, I believe, yes, is, oh, nope, 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 just pottery. I thought it was the insulator to a mason jar. Okay, come back on some cool finds hopefully soon. He did it. Look at him do the dance. <laughs> Show me your hands again. What did you find? Oh, yeah. Hold. Hold. Good job, Jer Bob. I just told. Okay. I just told Jer Bob, or uh, Brandon, he so needed that. You did it, Jerry Bob. Oh, and she's smooth. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Well, that's not a bad thing. I mean, it's older than dirt. Watch it be your drape bust. I'll see, like a something there. She's real smooth, Brandon. Nice. So we don't know <laughs> if it's it's a coin, ain't it? May I? Well, get it cleaned up and I'll get a close oh, yeah, up. Yeah, that's a large scent. Is it's it? Nice and perfect thickness. It's an oldie though. Damn, you're right. 
Yeah. That might be... Well, unfortunately, you know, he's just going to have to play with it. I think it's right now it's going to be unidentifiable. You know, there's some blotches. Definitely hold. There's some blotches. But... See now at that angle right there, it looks like the face. Yeah, I see all sorts of blood. different. Yeah, but then if you spin it another direction, you see something else. But regardless, yeah, it's a copper. Big I'll copper. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Well, this is probably the fourth or fifth of one of these that I have found. And you know what? We still don't know what they are. Hey, Brandon. What did we decide these were? They're like those old brass bedpost things. You remember? Well, I just dug another one. I think they're neat. Cool. Oh, dude, it's probably garbage. I thought it was a rock. Oh, dude. Gold, bro! That's awesome. Okay, we moved. Those spots were terrible with trash. Coin? Fine. Not a coin? Yeah, it's a coin, but it's a... Weedy? I don't care. Is it even a weedy? No, it's sweeter than that. Feels light. It looks like it. I can't tell. I see Lincoln now. Hey, good job. It's a coin. It's a coin. Yep. <laughs> we came back to the double dime field. Uh, I don't know how many weeks ago it's going to be what you guys are seeing, but a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, whatever, me and Brandon totally killed it here. Largey, two cent piece. Indians, uh, Wheaties. I dug a barber dime close to where Jerbob is and a seated dime more up on the hill. Uh, since those two spots that we just left sucked, we just decided to come here. It's loud, but the coins are popping through nice and loud, and I got my small coil again. We'll see what we can do. Jerry Bob did it again. I like getting those really old Let's weeds, too. Say that. Did you get in here? Yeah, that's a wheat. Uh, I think the oldest one we dug that day was 1916. But we got some 1920s and 30s, and I see the 19. I don't see the other two. It's okay. Yeah. It's fun digging targets, especially after what we just left. <laughs> That's fun for me to dig coin the period. <laughs> I know. All right, it's raining. He's out looking for airy heads. Jerry Bob's getting out of the rain. We're going to do a wrap up. Do a wrap up for Jerry Bob and his good day. He had a really good day. We, on the other hand, were on junk sites. This might be. 1940s or 50s child's because I've, I've dug a couple before a uh, utensil handle for kids that uh, was bottom of a light bulb here's what the farmer is throwing the field for us I uh, dug a valve stem this is cool I'm gonna put that right next to my other one someday someday somebody will say they know exactly what those are myself I like bedpost tops <laughs> They're solid, well, they're not solid, but a lot of brass to them. That design on it? Well, there's some this around the top. I was going to say one of them things to wrap uh, electric wire, electric fence. Oh, no, it's much, much older than that. You know, we find these at really old sites. You know, I want to call them parasol handles, but I, <laughs> I call everything parasol handle. <laughs> I've seen one like that. Yeah, this will be my second or third. And I know it's kind of fancy. Yep, I know that, Brandon's dug one or two. That, that might be what that is. It could be, but don't know. Some more aluminum junk. I did here at this site dig. Uh, I'm sure this is pewter spoon bowl piece. Uh, this was a tack, an old tack, but the, the points broke off. Picked up some pottery. Now, Jerbob, look at this fork. We don't dig many forks. And look at the fancy on it. All the way down the stem, the clear to the handle. Very cool. Don't know how old it is, but it sure looks old to me. 1800s, early 1900s. Easy. Not sure if this is a weedy or not, but it's a Lincoln. And this is definitely a weedy. We didn't get a year. 
And we think upon further investigation, rubbing, holding in different areas, this could be Jerobob's first, first KG3. At a certain angle, we see it, in fact, that, that might be it right there. That could be her head, her body, and there was like a, a round piece that could have been that uh, shield with the British flag inside the shield. And then we flipped it and we could see a pointed nose somewhere. It's not easy. You guys ain't going to probably see it, but we saw glimpses of a KG3. And it was an old enough sight, only on the 57 map. So I didn't know he dug that. Key, this is Brandon's stuff. Front door key face plate. Not sure what that is, but check out his spoon. That's got lots of fancy on it. He found this here, too. Nope. Cool. Uh, he got a thimble. We were wondering if this was that, uh, what kind of glass? What do you call it? Uranium. Uranium, yeah. We're not sure. James, is this uranium? Is it green outside uh, in daylight hours? Don't know. That's cool. Don't know what it is. That's a harmonica. And another door jam piece. I don't think this is a very long video, so maybe I'll add this to another one. But it was fun until we got rained out. All right, guys. Later. Isn't that neat? It's really neat. Yeah. Oh, I got to see this to believe it. Look at this. Got some fancy Pretty on the stout. strap. Oh, my God. It's a Gleason. <laughs>